What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Lex Express checking in with another movie review. Today we're going to be talking about The Northman. This is starring Alexander Skarsgård in the lead role as one of the most badass Vikings we've ever seen grace the screen. It also has Nicole Kidman, Ethan Hawke, Willem Dafoe, and it has, what's her name? Hold on. Anya Taylor-Joy. I didn't want to botch it. She was in The Witch, Split, Queen's Gambit, New Mutants, um, and, and so many other movies. She is a great actress and definitely brought you know her charm to the movie and, and added um, something that was really needed. I don't want to spoil it, but she, she was dope. She was really dope in the movie overall. And you also had a little appearance by Bajork. Um, I know I botched her name. And the surrounding cast was definitely um, really good overall. So let me just put that out there. It's directed by Robert Eggers, and he is known for The Witch. He also did The Lighthouse with Robert Pattinson. And um, he's he has a very particular style, right? It's more of like an artsy... Um, uh, it's like true cinema, right? It's... It, it's basically what Martin Scorsese and all these other directors that are fighting for the movie theater industry to be more than just the Avengers. It's basically that. It, it, it's more than just an action movie. It has action sequences and very intense moments at that, but it's very character driven and the, the style and, and, and even the soundtrack that the movie has, um, it's very, um, very unique, right? And it gives you a, a, a unique experience, no doubt about it. So the Northman is basically all about revenge. Without going too deep into the plot and ruining it for anyone that might want to watch it, it's it's a revenge tale that you know gets very tricky uh, with the approach that Alexander Skarsgård's character takes. There's there's moments where you know you pretty much got to decide if you want to go left or right like everything in life obviously but there comes a point in time that you got to make a crucial choice as to how you want to take you know control of your life and and the movie focuses on that and it focuses on the authenticity of what it was to be a viking and a raider uh during that time period you know it's it's a very you know it, it tried being a very accurate viking experience and, and you felt that it felt very raw and very, uh, in, and like I said, intense. And and I am so happy for Alexander Skarsgård uh, having this opportunity to showcase his range. If you guys don't remember him, uh, his one of his more notable roles was in True Blood as Eric Northman. And he was also in the Legend of Tarzan movie, which didn't do too well. But he also did really good in that one. So he he is definitely uh, well worth having a, as a lead actor, and I and I feel like Holly he hasn't broken into Hollywood like mainstream, you know, like to be part of like a like a superhero epic or or just a massive blockbuster film. This isn't that kind of movie. So if you guys are going into the Northman expecting to get you know over the top action and and like the the movies that the rock did the rock did a fun hercules film which i truly enjoyed but it wasn't trying to be this this is very very different you can't compare the two even though it's it's based on you know the old times and that era where people fought with their hands um so they do dive deep into the psychology of uh, of of you know trying to revenge and avenge uh, pretty much your family or your loved ones and it and it also uh you know it it really dives deep into like some witchcraft stuff as well there is some witchcraft stuff that they do touch base on here and um you know i, I just i thought it was good it, it was a, a little over two hours i think the runtime was like two hours and like 15 minutes or so but the movie ran for like about two hours and 10 minutes you know because the, the last five minutes are usually like the the credits and things like that um they're probably gonna add this to peacock because i saw that it, uh, it's it's by focus features which is actually owned by comcast so i'm assuming that this is gonna end up on peacock at some point in time and I highly recommend you guys give it a shot if you enjoy 
movies that are very uh, character driven. I can't stress that enough because I don't want you guys going into this film thinking it's going to be like this explosive action, crazy adventure where they go to, you know, a bunch of different locations. They do touch base on several locations, but it's a very intimate and a very, you know, specialized story on the character that Alexander Skarsgård plays. So I do highly recommend it. The score is very tricky for me to rate because I like the whole big ensemble and things like that. And this movie had a lot of uh, repeated sounds that is like, meh, meh. like they use that kind of sound in Dune. And I, I forgot what, it, oh, I saw the Green Knight recently. They had that type of music and sound in there too. So I feel like um, it, it really tried giving us that, 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 uh, you know, that, that vibe and feel of, 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 uh, of tension. That's really what it was. So again, when you combine those sounds with the sequences and the cinematic, you know, environment that they were going for and, 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 and the battle sequences, I mean, it just created an experience that I won't soon forget for sure. Uh, my wife ended up giving it an 8 out of 10. I have to agree with her. I gave it an 8 out of 10 as well. The closest thing that I could compare to the Northman is the Green Knight. I hated the Green Knight. Didn't like the story. Didn't like the turns, the the analogies, and just everything that they did there. Just I didn't rock with it. This one had a lot of similarities with that movie, and I feel like it excelled and did everything way better from the music to the to the character development to even the analogies and the witchcraft stuff that they had involved. I thought it was all super dope and enjoyable to see, whereas in The Green Knight, I felt like it was just stretched out. It got a little boring. It was just too much for me. I didn't mess with it, but with The Northman, everything was lined up perfectly, and 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 I, I typically don't go for these artsy-type films, honestly, but every once in a while, I throw it into the rotation, and, and, and I end up walking away surprised in a good way or in a bad way. Today, it was in a real good way, so man, if, you, if you're looking for... Twist and turns, intensity, and great, uh, you know, characters, characterization and acting, you know, the Northman is for you. All right, guys. So if you like these types of videos, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out on another movie review. We got many more coming. Top Gun is coming out next week, so I'm going to be checking that out and talking about it on the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Let's go.